Welcome back to our everyday living. I thought I'd do this one for you all. This was a customer's. I've got about to spare half an hour or so. I think this won't take half an hour to fix. But someone asked me to fix this LG 9.5 kilo top loader. Comes up with a code. I think it's a PE code. Now, I'm going to turn it on. I've got it all plugged in. And I'll just cross-reference that. Ah, uh, PE, I think. Yeah, PE code. Now, that's all to do with your water level sensor. So I ordered the part, received it today. So let's get, dive into this and see if we can repair this. Got the new part sitting here, let's unplug it. Unplug the thing, chuck that down there on the ground. We know we're not no power, see it's powering off. It's doing the right thing. Tools is all we need, it's probably a pair of long nose pliers, flat blade screwdriver, little one, so you can pop it all off with all the uh, clips that it's held on to. Two screws at the back. Didn't grab a magnet, so we're just going to sit that there. We don't need to open the lid at all. So this is a customer that's come to me and asked me to fix it. Yes, I do get people ask me to fix washing machines too. So it's just one of those things that it's a eventuating. So that pops out there. Come around to the front. There's a couple of clips at the front. I'm going to get my finger back under there. Pop back in the silly thing. There we go, got to keep the finger underneath. Move the part out of the road. It's a big parcel for a small part, I'll tell you. I thought, when I looked at it, I thought, yeah, nah, that's not the part. It's not the part I'm waiting on. I'm still waiting on parts for the washing machine that I completely pulled apart for the bearings and stuff. So, yeah, we're still waiting on those parts. Come on, clippy clippies. I had to verify everything and I put the bloody thing back together a couple of days ago. Oh, that's clipped back on. There we go. Now that one clipped back on. It's playing, playing havoc with me. One in the centre. Come on, there we go. Now we've got some action. That should be able to be pushed. Should be able to push it like so. It comes off. Give it a knock. Right, now your water level sensor is over here. So that's all the part is, it's that little white thing there with the three wires on it. You can ohm to test those, but um, you know, if it's just coming up with a PE code, um, they send it a, a new hose and that sort of thing. I've already checked the hose, um, done some research and said, well, check your hose, blah, blah, blah. I've, I've checked the hose, pressurised the, the hose with about oh, two or three PSI. And yeah, nothing wrong with the hose. But anyway, this is the new part. Let's hope we don't get it mixed up. Oh, dig the old hand in, dig the old hand in. Oh, just that little part. That's all it is. I opted not to have the hose. You can buy it with the hose, but anyway, disconnect. Get, disconnect the wire off there. Can only put it on one way. Then you've got three clips to unclip it with. Just got to make sure you do this right. Got to get the opposite side first. Pull it away. Come on up the come. There's one. Two, three. Now it has got a hose clamp on underneath it. As I said, it's only a quick one for this one. Pull the hose clamp down your hose. Grab your hose itself. Give it a twist. Off with the old, on with the new. So simple. Now, I hope this is the problem. Let's pray to Lord that it is the problem. Because I'll be kicking myself if it's not and there's a computer. Because sometimes it can be to do with the computer in them too. So, just pop that back in there. Um, the newer, newest machines are getting that way where you've got to have, replace the computer. I won't do that. I'll just tell them, no, nah, she's not repairable. And then just plug your wire back on. And while we've got it all apart, so we know if we've got to do any more repairing, it had the PE code. We're plugging back in. Oh, I must have tried on the cord. Was underneath my feet. Sit that across there. Stay, boo boo. No, let go on the ground. Right, now we'll power it back up. Move that up to there. Power up. It's on the A, meaning auto. 
It's not coming up straight away. PE. This is looking good, everyone. I tell you what, if I can get a customer like this and they come up with a problem, I actually sold this to this washing machine to them. So that's why they've come back. So it's a repeating customer. Um, so yeah, I think we fixed the problem. Like it's probably six months old since I sold this thing. How about we whack this cover back on and give it a whirl. That's what we'll do, we'll whack this on. We'll put it on just a spin cycle. We don't need to worry about having water connected. Well, actually we do. So I'll pause it right here. We'll get this all together first. And I'll get it over onto the test station, get it going with a bit of water, because it is a water level sensor. We better check it with the, some water in it. That's all clipped on, just making sure. Don't you blow away package. That into there. Oops. That into there. Power off. Power it off. Right, I'll get it over on the test station. Right, got everything plugged in but power. So let's grab the cord, plug it in here. Plug it into that one. Should be good to roll from there. Just got to turn the water on. I think the water is on over there. No, she's not turned on here. There we go, we're on there. Turn this one on here. It is. Oh, we've got a slight leak there. And there. Turn that one off. Okay. Now, power him up. Power it up. And we will do a short wash, a quick wash. Um, how do we do that? I've got to remember how to do this. We've got to go program. Here we go. Quick wash. Not on three hours. Oh, three minute wash. Oh, I don't know how to do that. We'll go wash level one. We don't need to waste water. Wash level one. No, we don't want that much. We don't want to wash it all. We only need a rinse. Uh, spin. Go a minute. Two minutes. I would say three minutes. We'll go a minute. We shouldn't need much. One. We'll go two minute rinse. Um, so that's quick. So it's going to be just a rinse. And because that's all it'll need. It's just got to determine how much water's in there then i'll go through and go right up to number 10 see if it works and that sort of thing on the same setting 25 minutes i'm not going to wait 25 minutes my 25 minutes is going to be going somewhere else i'll get back to this if it works all right when it finishes i'll have to go and do a bit more work around here and then come back better go and check out this machine had to walk back. <sighs> Sit that down there. Sounds like it's finished. And, well, it doesn't look like that's had a problem on that one. Oh, we've got a bit of crap in here, though. <laughs> oh, dear. Bit of paper or something. All right, now we'll put it on the high level. High water level. It seemed to have worked. Uh, so we press the power button back on. We go water level. We'll put it right up to 10. We'll just do the same thing again. We'll shorten it all up. That way I can get back to work. No wash. Rinse is going to do the same thing. Um, spin on one. We'll leave it at one and one. I think that's about um, 30 minutes. 19 minutes. Well, I'll have another 20 minutes. I'll go and do a bit more work with the old whippersnip. I'll clean up from when I've done the spraying. The thing is, with a bit of spraying, you're still going to go and whip a snip where you spray because it looks ugly. So I'll go and do that. 20 minutes later. Let's go and check on this wash machine. Alright, we'll go and do that. Go and check on this thing. I've got to get to them, do all this in here yet. Get rid of all the bloody grass. So I'll go up the back up to the shed. The amount of kilometres I walk in a day, it's unreal like walking the side of the road 
like when I first started collecting cans. Anyway, we'll get to the shed. Sounds like it's just finishing. Yeah, one minute. Geez, I timed that pretty well. I'm going to put this down. I don't think it's heavy. I haven't got the strap for it. Oh, that's finished. Oh. Well, I can call the customer and say, well, your washing machine's finished. This is blah, blah, blah. What was wrong with it? And let her know. Bonus. So if you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this one, everyone, fixing the washing machine, seeing me do a bit of work um, on camera, um, but I have done a fair bit for today anyway. Um, I just thought I'd pop this one in for you all and um, get it all repaired. So just a PE problem, the water level sensor. So that's not too bad. So if you've come this far, show us some love. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Um, also, if you give, while you're giving some love out, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. So, but anyway, if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when we put a new video out, just like this one here. So, till next time everyone, happy dumpster time, happy scrapping. Sorry for the camera angles, I just got to get back to work. And, uh, yeah, I'll definitely see you in the next one. Cheerio!